Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to talk to you more about the RTX 3000 series coming out from NVIDIA later this year. Primarily focusing on two major concerns that I have as a miner, and we're going to be looking at this from the aspect of the mining community, not the gaming slash average consumer. So not too long ago, uh, during the crypto uh, charity poker tournament, Crypto Mikel and I were talking and I told him that I wanted to release a video about this topic uh, because I saw something that Hashraptor was doing. Hashraptor was actually testing the airflow of his mining rigs and depending on a push-pull configuration, you know, what are the impacts, the implications? Uh, and he did some really good uh, testing I, I talked to him about it, and I, I believe he's got another video coming out soon about it, but he, he tested the push-pull configuration with a blower-style card, uh, and I believe he's going to be doing something with the open air or atom board partners uh, rather than the reference design. So if you haven't seen this video, go ahead and check it out, and also stay tuned for his uh, next one. But with the NVIDIA 3000 series on the horizon I have two major concerns the first one is power so it's still a rumor but supposedly they're gonna be changing to a 12 pin connector and this new 12 pin inter interface power interface uh, can you know draw up to 300 watts it also will provide 8.5 amps versus 6 amps and that's two six pins sandwiched together uh, you know six amps versus 8.5 amps out of this 12 pin connector so it does look like two six pins put together and and you know Bob's your uncle <laughs> but the concern I have about that is from a mining aspect or, or perspective we have a bunch of adapters right so we might have a server power supply with a breakout board and then we got multiple connections that take a six pin mail and then split it out to an eight pin or or whatever uh, and then we use for extension maybe another cable that takes a six pin and then splits it to two eight pins if we're drawing more amps and that cable is mismanufactured or just has a defect or something like that that can be a hazard. We've seen this before. I've seen it personally. Red Panda's experience, where we start to see that where the connection terminates, you might see a little bit of brown, or a little bit of charring, or and then it turns black because it's starting to melt. The wire is pulling so much power that it's starting to melt the rubber outside of it, and it can char or burn the plastic uh, that the connection is terminated into. So we have to be careful if they do switch to 12 pin which I'm, I don't believe they're going to because if you look on this render here it's two 8 pins the same thing that we're used to uh, however we won't know until we actually get these cards in our hands but if we do switch to 12 pin connection I suspect that it would be beneficial to make sure that we get uh, power cables that are sufficient for 8.5 amps because most of the connections or most of the adapters that we have are uh, a lower gauge wire and may not be able to draw or handle that, that many amps through it. So that's one concern. The other concern I have is airflow. And as I mentioned in a previous video about two weeks ago uh, where I was speculating on the mining performance of these 3000 series, if you haven't checked out that video, I have it linked at the end or in the description. Uh, please uh, check it out when you get a moment. But the airflow of the reference cards, I'm not talking about add-in board partners, which I would recommend waiting for a period. If you're going to get into the 3000 series or you plan on buying one of these graphics cards, I would wait for the add-in board partners rather than getting the reference card, uh, specifically from a mining aspect because the reference card and the design of the cooling is a little bit concerning to me. Why is it concerning to me? Well. Let's say we got an 8 GPU rig, 6 GPU rig, whatever. Uh, most of these cards are open air except for this one blower here in the middle, right? 
But if we look at the direction of airflow and ignore this blue fan, it's not blowing any air or anything like that. Let's just focus on the 120s or the 140s, whatever you have in the back side of your rig, depending. Um, is blowing air towards the front side of this rig, right? Well, if we look at the picture, the air intake is on the front and the exhaust is on the back. Why does that present the problem? Well, air is going to come from this side. It's going to go into that front intake, go through the card, and then get exhausted out the back. Now, because it's being exhausted out the back, we now have this 120 blowing air towards the front. So it's taking that hot air that is being exhausted from the GPU and is putting it towards the front. And if we have another reference design 3000 series GPU right next to it, guess what? That intake fan is now sucking in the warmer air. Now, it's not going to be a huge difference, but it may be... Uh, one to four degrees depending on how hard you're pushing your cards and a number of parameters but let's just say it's warming up the air the 120 or 140 in the back of your mining rig is now taking that air pushing it towards the intake of the next 3000 series GPU and then that card does the same thing and it goes through the GPU and it gets exhausted out the back once again and we just rinse and repeat hot air gets sucked in by the next reference 3000 GPU and so on and so forth even if you don't even if you only have one what is going to be the impact heat wise of the 3000 series GPUs you know pushing hot air towards your regular GPUs your 2000 series your 10 series whatever it is even for a blower card that will be even worse because the exhaust and the blower card's intake are right next to each other. Whereas on an open air card or an atom board partner, um, they have two fans. So even if this this side where the mostly it's cooling the VRMs, it's mostly cooling the the GDDR6 or, or one side of the GDDR6, it's not so so much of a, a a bad thing. We're mostly worried about the core but memory is important depending on the mining algorithm so now we got hot air being circulated through this card and getting exhausted right by the intake of the blower style cooler is that going to have a negative impact on the thermals of our cards I believe it will I don't think it's going to be significant to where it's a huge issue but if you even had a server type mining setup where the cards are closer together that could be a, a problem because all you're doing is recycling hot air through the GPUs until it gets to the last one and then that's exhausting uh, you know out the case so to speak on a gaming case on a regular computer case the average consumer I think this is a wonderful design because as normal airflow goes right we have cool air coming in through the front of the case here's the GPU the GPU is pulling in cool air from the bottom of the case and exhausting it out the top and in most modern day cases we have cool air being pulled from the front and then exhausting out the top because we have two 120s or two 140s and then we even have a 120 in the back so it's, it's going in this direction if this was a square that I drew for you inside or intake to the front of the case exhaust out the top and the GPU the reference design from Nvidia will be perfect but from a mining aspect that's a little bit concerning to me. I don't suspect it's going to be a huge increase in thermals, uh, but if we built an entire rig out of it, six GPUs, eight GPUs, and they were nestled close together, I can see the thermals being increased because of the design of the airflow or the, the, you know, the cooling of the GPU. We won't know until we get these cards in our hands. Um, this is just me sharing my concerns I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below uh, but like I always do I can't afford to buy an entire six uh, six car GPU rig of 3000 series because I'm not sponsored or anything like that um, but when I grab a card I would do some testing and I would share my data just like I always do uh, if you are new to the channel I usually take the data information and I share with the mining community through Reddit posts or online wherever I can to get this information out to you guys so that way you can make an informed decision. 
Uh, I really appreciate Hash Raptor doing his video um, because depending on where you have your fans and what type of cards you have will determine how much of an improvement you will get. So I'm looking forward to his open air test because I know the blower style coolers benefited from one side or the other. I'm not going to spoil it for you, so just check, check out the video. But the blower style cooler did benefit from the fans being on a certain side. So check it out, get some data, and then that could help you build your rig around that setup. Uh, as for me, I will be trying to get my hands on a 3000 series. I won't be able to get multiple as I said, but I'm also looking to get my hands on a big Navi or new AMD graphics card, whatever the name is. So stay tuned for that, subscribe for content. Uh, do me a favor on the way out guys, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, not only on the 12 pin power that we may be utilizing, but the airflow of the new reference GPUs. I would like to wait for Atom Board Partners to come out with a design, like say for example Asus comes out with their normal, but we will see. And then whatever I can get my hands on, I will provide that data to you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.